The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the November 13th. The November 13th, the wonderful Wednesday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I'm very grateful for your presence here, but much more important than that, during this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial it in right now at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered there, too. You can always send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside that subject heading, if you'd be kind enough to put radio show question, of course, in our Tiger's Den, well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on wonderful Wednesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, what we've got is uh, green across the board, with the exception of the Russell 2000. That's down about three and a half points, and the uh, transports are also down for a second day in a row. They're down 83 points. They're trading at 10, 876. But the Dow is up 73. The S&P is up five. The NDX is up uh, 10 points out there. Spot volatility index is up 33 cents. She's trading out at 1301. Gold's up eight bucks. Uh, just uh, this count, just a counter trend rally in side of Goldilocks out there. Silver up 18 pennies. She's trading at 1687. Light sweet crude up 58 cents. Treasury bonds up 10 ticks. Lead the charge to the upside. It is uh, Cardlytics. Something like that. CDLX, the ticker symbol, up 40% or $16. Mercado Libre up 12. Line Corp up about 10 or 23%. Uh, Kinzale Cap Group up 9 or 10%. To the downside, it's Amazon. That's the dollar leader. It's off 16 bucks. That's slightly less than 1%. Booking Holdings down 12 bucks or 6 tenths of a percent. Biogen, BIIB, is off uh, 7 bucks. In fact, we're going to start there with regard to the first question that came in. We'll go take a look at the general markets. But the first question coming in about uh, quarter to uh, noon today, uh, this one from Mike K in uh, Sarasota. I believe Mike is still in Sarasota. Mike writes in and says, uh, BIIB, that is Biogen. Let's go ahead and put our three time frames out here to take a look at this. His question is, uh, where to get long for December 20 option play? Can we retrace 50% or more of the 1022 breakout from um, uh, from here? What do you think? Uh, so if we take a look at, so we're looking at, to Mike, the three different time frames uh, to help us identify potential support or resistance and what is Biogen doing. And so there is a new, pro, not a new profile, it's a profile that's been around for about eight or nine trading sessions, the daily profile that is for Biogen. And what we know is that so far today, where price is sitting right now is at 284, and that is the center of its bullish structured box. So you are looking for a 50% retracement. Now it's a bullish structured box out there, the bottom of which is two. 279.89. What we like to say is there's nothing more bearish than a failed bullish pattern. And that's what you would need. So what Mike is referring to with regard to a 50% retracement, although my retracement ruler isn't going to draw 50% because uh, I don't use that, that doesn't mean I'm right, Mike's wrong, not at all. Uh, all that it means is Stevie doesn't use that. I use 0 0.786, 0 0.382, 0 0.618. But that's okay. We can still take a look at this, engage it, because what Mike is really talking about is probably getting back. Well, you might have even put the figure down here. 
No, you didn't, but maybe somewhere around 268 or so. The point six one eight retracement is 257.47 uh, out there, and that's from the low on the trading day of October 18th. I'm not even sure if that's the date that you used or not. It doesn't matter. Here's what you'll need to know. Here's what you'll want to know. By the way, price is trading above the top of the weekly and the monthly profiles out there, so breakout mode, and that's in essence what the chart here for Biogen is telling you and I. However, let's bring over our other chart. So it looks to me like price is going to make its way down to 279.89. Whether it's going to hold that area or not, Mike, I don't know. That might be a place where you'd look to scale in on the trade. The actual breakout area, so there was a TD setup nine count. Didn't identify the top out here because uh, bars eight, nine, and uh, 10, so to speak, were lower than bar number seven out there. Nonetheless, price is still pulling back. It's below Stevie's green line, which is 295. 89 and this suggests a uh, test of the breakout area of 275.66 so 275.66 I think is your key number out there and if price pulls back below that then you're going to have to look for some type of pattern to the downside but right now let's go with the information that we have and the information Mike that you've got is 279.89 should be should be support maybe there's an intraday spike down to 275.66 to test the breakout area but that is where Biogen BIIB ought to be able to find support so I hope that that helps you out uh, thanks so much for writing in let's go to our next question out here next question coming in from Give me a second here to pull it up from Sylvia. And Sylvia wants to take a look at ticker symbol SMG. SMG is um, Scott's Miracle Grow. So uh, Sylvia is looking, I believe, to get long Scott's Miracle Grow, mm, considering uh, Miracle Grow, uh, okay, uh, is going long wrong. Okay, so here's what we know about Scott's Miracle Grow. Number one, Four, five, six, seven days ago, uh, price closed over the top of its daily profile, 102.56. That's bullish. Uh, su suggests further momentum to the upside. Where would that momentum take us to? Well, right now, price is just trying to regain, and it's only Wednesday. We don't know whether price is going to reject the um, the center of the weekly profile, which is at 107.96 out there. That's where that's really that 107.96 area is going to be a key area for you to be watching, Sylvia, because if a counter trend rally is going to end, and that's what the weekly chart, we've got to go look at patterns that are out here. But uh, if the counter trend rally is going to end, that typically would be about where it would occur. You're trading at 107.93, 107.96 would be the area that I would be watching there. Prices is in between the profiles on the monthly basis. So let's step back for a moment. Let's actually go take a look at the current daily time frame chart. So the current daily time frame chart here, what this shows you, Sylvia, is that yesterday, Stevie's red line turned green. And what that means is that means that the price oscillator, the difference between two exponential moving averages, which I use, 19 and 39, that the price oscillator, that's the difference between those two, reached the zero threshold level. Now, there's a phenomenon that typically occurs over the coming trading sessions. I, I wish I could narrow it down to how many. I can't. I just know that it should happen. This is what you should anticipate. And if you're trying to get into Scott's Miracle Grow, now is not the time to enter that trade. And this is where it's going to get complicated. But we should see price pull back to this green line area. The print right now is 102.57. That's not going to be the exact price when that test occurs. But that should unfold. It may not happen for four or five days out there. We'll be right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, you got the Dow up 70. S&P is up uh, four. Hey, in the production room, can you guys get the uh, my charts here to show up inside the Tiger's Den? That would be great if you could uh, make that. Uh, uh, it makes it a little bit easier for them to follow along with what I'm looking at out there. Uh, so we're going to switch back right now and uh, take a look at the uh, chart. Whoops. Uh, let me see here. I think I've got to uh, make sure that that's actually working now. Yeah, okay, so you should be seeing my charts. They're not in the den. We'll make sure that the production team gets them up there. I should hear a few clicks, and I don't hear any clicks out there. But uh, in any event, let me just continue taking a look at Scott's Miracle Grow. Now, we had mentioned, we were taking a look at the, we, whoops, let me get to the right chart here, that uh, we were taking, that, that my concern is in taking a look at the weekly chart, Sylvia, knowing that uh, price had uh, broken through the bottom of that bullish structured box. And when we pull over my other weekly chart, now you you and I can clearly see um, why you and I should have some concern. When this did make its top out here and it made its uh, top on August the 2nd, it was with that TD setup nine count pattern. And so it just, uh, this the, the, why it's a difficult call is because this could clearly be just a counter trend rally in that move with price getting ready to pull back in the 89 50-ish area. And the only way for me to, to to know that or for you to know that is really to watch what happens at the 107.96 area. So here what we have is we've got a, a clear topping signal. We just looked at it from a weekly time frame. And then when we take a look at that weekly time frame, we can see that price broke through a key level of support that uh, the bottom of that weekly profile. And now if this is just a counter trend rally, uh, which is really what the daily chart is suggesting right now, or at least that there should be a pullback out here. Not that it starts today, okay? I just want to make sure. I'm not saying that it starts today. It might not start until Tuesday, um, you know, for because it's in day number six, and you got seven, eight, nine, and ten. So you got four more days, right? You got Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday. So so maybe it doesn't start till Tuesday. Maybe it's Monday. Maybe it doesn't start at all. But watch 107.96, because if this is just a counter trend rally, out there. Well, you might get more than just a test of Stevie's oscillator and change line. And what I have seen is uh, because at the 107.96, that's both where, in essence, sellers, 
sellers are very close to that area, 107.96. We know they're at the 106.29 uh, level. So I would, I know you want to go long. I would say uh, this one is a difficult call uh, for me. If I look at the monthly time frame chart, monthly time frame chart, now. Well, you know, it's in between support and resistance, and resistance is 110.12, and support is 97.86 out there. So um, that's the best I can do for you, Sylvia. I hope that that information helps you. Let's go out to uh, Ron in Denver, Colorado. Ron, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Great, Steve. Uh, warmed up nicely here in Denver today. Oh, good. I, good. Uh, the snow, was snow is gone. I, I, I would like you to if you'd take a look at Cisco, CSCO. Yeah. Uh, I like it long term. They're supposed to bring their earnings out tonight, and I just wondered what the chart looks like for you on a short term basis and a long term. So let's ta let's take a look at long term because you had mentioned that you were looking at Cisco from a long term standpoint, and and here's the problem that Cisco has, and that's this: that uh, if we take if we come back, uh, well, really you could almost start from. It could almost start from here, from August of 2018, on a monthly basis, or so our long-term basis, price was rising with less relative energy out there. And we can see along these highs out here, you can see the bearish engulfing from May of 2019. We can see another one in August of 2019. And each of these are confirming the Rhodes Momentum Indicator top. So I don't know what Cisco is going to, you know, how the market's going to respond to their numbers. But there's a significant or major topping signal in play for Cisco on a monthly basis that Ron could take price down to 3145. Over what period of time, I don't know. It's in play. Price is below Stevie's green line. So the monthly or the longer term chart says to both you and I, hey, hold off here. Now, when I take a look at the weekly chart, and I haven't gone to our market profiles out here, but when I take a look at the weekly chart, we can also see a Rhodes Momentum Indicator top, price moving higher, doing less relative energy, price moves lower, and if the move that you're seeing yesterday and today, this is a weekly, last week, I should say last week, and this week, is just a counter trend rally, well, that's what it's signaling to you and I. Remember, uh, the, the chart that we were looking at just before uh, Cisco out here, Ron, was... Um, uh, uh, Scott's Miracle Grow, or Scott's whatever, whatever, whatever the, the name of the company right. is. Um, and I was talking about how when my oscillator and change line changes color, tells us the price oscillator is at zero, and there's a phenomena that price and that line will catch up to each other for a test. Well, that's exactly what transpired here in Cisco. It was the week of October 4th where the line went from green to red. It's taken two, four, took five weeks five bars, if you will, for that test to unfold. And last week's bar in Cisco was a bearish signal. Price bouncing up to that line, rejecting it, and that's what we have in place right now. So the message here on a weekly basis and the monthly basis is anticipate lower price, 43 bucks there. Um, and if I just look at profiles, yeah, price is above the daily profile. Oops, shoot, darn. So that's nice. Let me go grab that chart here. Uh, uh, but, uh, you know, I'm getting, these, I'm getting these other signals that are more reliable. See, we use the market profiles just to help us identify support and resistance. So that's how I use them. Um, sure. and, 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 you know, it's important for us to understand where those levels are at. What we do is we use my other tools to help us identify tops and bottoms. Now, on a daily basis, on October 10th, uh, what Cisco did was it formed a nice roads momentum indicator bottom. Okay, it did that. But now what we've also seen is the counter trend up to resistance on a, on a weekly basis. So um, based on that information, and not to have confused you at all, but obviously each time frame chart that we're going to look at is going to give us a different signal. So let me just summarize this for you. The monthly chart says be careful because you've got a major topping pattern. The weekly chart, which also has a topping pattern, uh, the rally that was caused by this nice bottoming signal on the daily has hit the level where a counter trend rally would end. Um, and that's what I see when I take a look at these charts. So based on that, what would be the trade that you would take out there? Would you take a trade? Well, I was I was going to look at a trade out about three or four months, yes. but I and you know on on an option place on an option play, but uh, I'll guess I'll wait for see if it does a little pullback after the earnings. Yeah, I think at this stage, I mean, the best information that I can share with you is, hey, yeah, there was a bottoming pattern on a daily basis. But when we take a look at those longer term time frames, which is what you were considering, you know, they are suggesting that all that this was was a counter trend rally. Now, 
they're coming out with earnings. Let's find out who's right from a chart standpoint yeah. out here. Yeah, um, they, and, they changed and, their and business model. Action. They went from hardware selling modems and all this to a lot more software and subscriptions and so forth. And we'll see if that yeah. helps them long term. I thought long term it would help them. And that's why well, I really wanted to look at it. No, sure. You know, Cisco, from a, from a monthly standpoint, was in a long-term consolidation from uh, uh, back in 2007. And that's this uh, yellow rectangle, Ron, that we're looking at on my screen out here. And what Cisco did was it made that measured move. So typically when you break a consolidation, the move is equal to or greater than a consolidation. We can see that Cisco did that, and then it created that topping signal out here. So I would just be careful with Cisco. Wait to, uh, you know, give me a call tomorrow. Let's take a look and see how Cisco is trading after their earnings, see if there's any new information. All right, my friend? Okay. okay will do. Thank you very Alrighty. much. Appreciate it. You bet. You bet. Thanks for the call. That was Ron in uh, Denver, Colorado. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's up 61. S&P is up four. NASDAQ 100 is up four points as well. And uh, before I go back to the uh, to the questions that have come in, let's just kind of get an overview of what's going on right now in the uh, market. Try to make it easy peasy. And we come back and spend more time on this after we've answered all of the questions. But if we take a look at the equity futures contract, and I share with you what has transpired thus far today and why these tools that I use, I, I believe, are so important to both you and I in being able to identify what the markets are doing. The oscillator and change line, that is now, and you watch, you watch this on Tiger TV, I now, are, I, I'm now looking at, don't worry, I'll get it out. I'm now looking at, uh, or you're looking at, we are looking at, the ES Mini, that's a top panel, the NQ center panel, Dow bottom panel. So you've got all three of the daily equity futures contracts. The only thing that I have out here right now from a tool standpoint is our TAS market profiles. Are, no, I don't have those. I, I apologize. This is our TD setup nine count levels of support or resistance along with the uh, Chapman wave uh, counts out there um, and the oscillator and change line. And that's really the key. Uh, Ron and I were taking a look at the oscillator and change line. We were doing that. Well, we do that on all of uh, yeah, all of the instruments that uh, that we look at. And the reason why that's so important, why that line is so important you, in, in it's, it's the following. When you start to see price pull back, the question should be, okay, it's pulling back, but where's support? Is this just a is this just a normal and natural retracement back to support? Or is this just the, or is this the start of something more? And how do you answer that question? Well, the key is you've got to be able to have reliable levels of support that must be broken in order for there to be a change in trend to the downside. Likewise, you must have reliable levels of resistance that when broken, tell you about a change in trend to the upside. And that's what you and I do. And it's nice to have these objective tools to be able to do that. So if we take a look at what has transpired so far in today's market for the ES, the NQ, and the Dow, it has been nothing more than a test of support. The oscillator and change line, Stevie's green line, it can be red out there, it changes colors like a comedian or a chameleon out there. And, and that's what really helps us because, boy, when that line is red and price is rejecting any bounces to the upside and it continues to move lower, those are what you would call bearish confirmations that the move higher was just the counter trend move out here. We're not dealing with counter trend moves at this stage of the game. We're trying to identify as the market broke through any levels of support that are key. And these are the areas that you'll want to be watching during the now. Now things are kind of scrunched. It looks like about 30.85 in or 83 inside the ES. It's about 82.42 in the NQ and the Dow is 27.539. And folks, any time the market pulls back into those levels and it's just testing it, just testing it. It's all it's doing is just telling us about a normal retracement inside of the markets. And that is what's going on. When we take a look at the daily time frame charts for the ESENQ and the uh, Dow equity futures contract out there. So we'll come back to we'll come back to uh, to those areas. I want to make sure that I get all the questions in if I can, because I really appreciate when you do send me questions. First, it makes the show go smoother. Second, I've got to immediately take a look at something and give you my assessment. Uh, but all I'm doing is over and over and over again using the exact same tools to reach a conclusion. And if I can be consistent, then anytime anyone asks me about an instrument and we go through this, it'll should be easier for you. And, and most important really, is I believe in these tools. You should believe in them too. They are the tools that led me to that number one market timer uh, 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 rating out there. So we know that these tools work because you and I put these to use against uh, 100 plus other great market timers that are out there. So we're just going to use them consistently. And hopefully you're allowing me to pass along to you this great set of tools so that it can assist you in your trading and investing. And it can assist your family, your children, your grandchildren, everybody out there. Because when in this world, we talk about wealth inequality, or when people talk about wealth inequality, uh, this is the easiest way to bridge that gap, right? There's three ways to accumulate wealth other than the inherit or marry into it. You either start a business and you're an entrepreneur. That's one way to do it. Two, you do it through appreciation and real estate, um, fixed type assets. And then third, 
you do it through markets. Doesn't matter to me whether it's an equity market, a commodity market, a currency market. These tools are agnostic to the actual instrument that we're taking a look at. And if you just use them the same way, they will assist you. And from time to time, the messages will be mixed. Like we were, Ron and I were taking a look at a daily chart, and then we're taking a look at the weekly and the monthly to ascertain, hey, you know what? The counter trend rally in Cisco could very easily be over. Now, it'll be interesting where the charts, the charts know more than you and I do about how it's going to react, Cisco that is, to the to 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 the news, to the release of uh, numbers out there. I don't know the answer, but we do know that we've got kind of a uh, the longer term or intermediate term is saying you know, not not so fast out there. Okay, so enough about uh, that spiel. Let me go. We've got three questions in here. Let me get to these. Mike Mike from Sarasota. He's back. He's looking to also take some calls on the XLE. And so if we go take a look at the XLE, again, let's just start off, take a look at three time frames for the XLE, daily, weekly, monthly. Just understand where is price trading relationship to support or resistance. Here on the daily base right now, price is testing, we'll call it level one support, which was old resistance, the top of the daily profile, 59.76. The low today has been 59.54. If that fails, in other words, if price closes below that, Mike, then from a daily perspective, we would say price would target 59.15 or 58.54. It's an equally distributed daily profile but right now support from a daily base the top of the daily profile is held and that looks good however when you and I go take when you and I go take a look at the weekly time frame chart we're like eh, maybe not so good why because the top of the profile was 6007 you're back below that right now so the weekly is saying eh, you know I'm not convinced about this bullish move and you're asking me is it a good time to go uh, long here we can say that the weekly chart is uh, on the fence because it's really sitting on the fence, so to speak. And the monthly time frame chart is saying, are you kidding me? Well, it's not exactly saying that, but here's what it is saying. It is saying that it is rejected. And this is the month of November, obviously, that it's rejected resistance, which was the bottom of its monthly profile at 6086 out there. So that just tells us support and resistance. Again, to summarize, monthly is saying, you haven't proven anything to me. Weekly is saying, you know, last week may have just been a one-week aberration. I like to see two bars above resistance. In this case here, it'd be two weekly bars, so we won't know till Friday. And the daily is sitting there saying, well, I think I've held support, but uh, my friends on the weekly and monthly side are, are saying, mm, uh, hold your horses. Now, let's start from the monthly going backwards out here, Mike. And we take a look at the monthly chart. What else do we know about the monthly chart? Well, what, what price has done over the last many months is tested and rejected its red oscillator and change line. That's bearish. When you get up in you, because it tells us we still have a falling price oscillator below zero. And so generally speaking, that is bearish. So the message from the week or the monthly charts from both its market profiles, the oscillator and change line, it's still bearish out there. If we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, what is its signal to you and I? Its signal to you and I is... Now, it's sort of bullish. There was a Rhodes Momentum Indicator top. It confirmed with the gap up on the week of September 13th out here. Um, but I see declining highs on the weekly time frame for the XLE. And Mike, the PS day resistance, we take a look at where price stopped on a daily basis, right at its breakdown level, 61.52. We'll be right back to finish this up. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get the competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back. So we were taking a look at the uh, energy sector, the XLE, for uh, Mike and Sarasota. And so that rally off the bottom, by the way. So and Dennis is asking me a, a question here. And so, Dennis, take a look at uh, this. Uh, this is the XLE on a daily basis. So the TD9 count actually confirms on the trading day of October the 2nd. And when that was confirming, it was also testing the breakout level, 56.38 support. So it was generating a signal to you, to us, to all of us, that the XLE was likely forming a bottom. Now, what we know is that when the nine count forms, you would typically see, in this case here, the bottom would form either on bar eight, nine, or the bar following nine, number 10. Now, in this case here, we can also see, if we go back a little further, that the XLE was also bottoming with Rhodes momentum indicator pattern back on August the 28th. Price was pushing lower doing less relative energy. So in essence, another uh, confirmation of a strong area of support out here. And then once price gets above Stevie's red line out here, it's an indication that price wants to move higher. Now, Dennis, I know you and I could do this after the fact right now, or Mike, who, who's probably listening in or looking in. Uh, but the, the level once price gets above the oscillator and change line, in this case here, I don't have the market profiles on this uh, chart, but what we would say is what price is targeting based upon that bottoming pattern is where price had recently broke down. And that's what that solid green line is. And that was established by the TD setup nine count, 61.52. So that was, that was in place, well, that went in place on the trading day of October 2nd. It was the day of November 5th four, five, six days ago out here, trading sessions ago, when price gets up to that level and does what? Stops dead in its tracks. How important is it for you to understand where support and resistance is if you're in a trade? What you can anticipate out here. Now, what was also taking place on that date, uh, Dennis, Mike, uh, was Stevie's red line had turned green the day before. Green with envy, November the uh, 4th out there. So what does price do? It, it, uh, it hits resistance. It backs off. We know there's the phenomena associated with price testing that line, the oscillator and change line, when it changes colors. That's exactly what took place yesterday. And so now, Mike, what you've got going on is price is yesterday was a test and rejection. Today is a test and rejection on the bearish side. Yesterday was the bullish side out here. So can I suggest to you to take a long trade in the XLE right now? The answer is I cannot. 
because now on a green line just tells us that price is likely to move back to another to another support level. So where would that support level be? Well, here we can come back to the daily time frame chart, and this is where <clears throat> so this is where we're kind of stuck in in uh, in in Middlesville, so to speak, because when we go look for that next level of support, well, price has actually found it on the daily time frame. 59.76. We're trading at 59.85. So not by a lot. Okay, nine cents right now, but price is still above that. But a close below 59.76, Mike, we're looking at 59.15 or 58.54 out there. If price were to close above uh, Stevie's green line around 59.94 right now, all that that would tell us, Mike, is that you know maybe price is going to take another run for the 61.52 area. But you've got resistance. You know where the numbers are. I hope this helps you out with regard to XLE and then the use of uh, Stevie's tools out there. Dennis, uh, that was just kind of live, so hopefully that helped you as well, as well, um, with regard to understanding how to uh, utilize uh, this uh, tool out there. And no problem for double dipping, so to speak. Mike, we'll, we'll even let you take a, a triple dip. Uh, but it would be a triple Lindy if you were going to do it. Now, Alan writes in, and Alan says, uh, please do stock analysis on symbol VMC, Vulcan Materials. So let's go take a look at Vulcan Materials. And then I guess in order to be able to take a look at Vulcan Materials, although you can't see me right now because I don't have my camera on, but if you did, I I'm doing the, is it Star Wars or is it the uh, Star Trek? I think it would be Star Trek, right? I'm kind of bad on both of those series, by the way. But I think it would be Star Trek where they would do maybe the uh, Spock. He had the Vulcan ears, didn't he? Uh, maybe this is uh, uh, Spock's uh, stock out here, for all I know. But uh, you want me to take a look at it? Get, get, get to it already, Steve-O. Enough with the jibber-jabber out there. But so for taking a look at the uh, Vulcan materials, which we are, we know the prices trade below the daily, the weekly, bottom of its profiles out there. So not necessarily the most bullish thing that we could take a look at. And the monthly is above the top of its profile. So you say the equity is broken out. And I'm telling you, man, be careful. I think it's broken down. But you say broken out an impressive looking 12-year cup and handle. And that's the problem. We could go out to breakfast. And I, I like that. But I, I don't know the cup and handle uh, pattern out there. So I basically I suck at that. And I can't suck it like suck tash. Um, but um, but you're long. OK, you're long. You're in the money. I see that. OK, so that's good. Uh, so you just want to really know um, when you want to when you should buy more, when you should buy more of this. So let's take a look at the other time frame charts out, out here when you should buy more. And it sounds to me like maybe you're a long term trader out here. Well, remember the week or the monthly chart uh, is trading above resistance, the top of its profile out here. And that's why I say we don't use the profiles to help us identify a top or a bottom, just simply support and resistance. But understanding where support and resistance is, is, is worth its weight in gold out here. Now, with regard to Vulcan materials, so far, this is top with a TD setup nine count. It did it last month. The pattern is in play. Now, What's transpired is what's supposed to transpire, which is price is supposed to push its way back to support. Now, the month is not over. But if price were to close below Stevie's green line, that's 136.21. If you want to know where the next buy area is, it's well below the price you're currently holding because it's 100.50. So if you were just simply a long-term trader out there, you're watching this month and watching to see if it closes below Stevie's green line at 136.22, because it does have a top in place. And we know that support is down at 121.72, the top of its monthly profile. So the monthly chart for Vulcan Materials says, just be careful. What's the weekly chart tell us? I don't know, let's go find out. Weekly chart does the same thing. Not really the same thing, but the same thing from the standpoint, tops with a TD setup nine count. Dennis, you're asking me, hey, is this a good standalone tool? Um, if you if you were, this tool is so easy to to calculate on your own, Dennis. Easier if it's a weekly, monthly, daily chart than like a five minute chart, obviously. But if you are and you don't need to be a technologist, you don't need to know anything about charting other than where an open or a close of a candle is. And then the ability to be able to measure is this close greater than the candle four bars earlier for up counts or is the close lower than the bar four bars earlier for a down count. Now, 
When you get that nine count, the hair on the back of your neck should start to be able to stand up. You should be on guard. You can look for signals. You can look for candlestick signals. You can look for Stevie's green line. But if you didn't have that and all you had was the nine count and you were long this, you know, you would start to make sure that you tighten up your stop. Let the market take you out. You don't have to take yourself out. You know, you, but you should anticipate that there would be a pullback to where? Well, at least the Stevie's green line. Well, when this count formed on a weekly basis, that TD9 count price is already below Stevie's green line, suggesting a further pullback. And a pullback to where? The breakout area, 135.37. So, so far, that has held. But you still got a real valid topping signal, and a counter trend rally would peter out, so to speak at 147.25, Stevie's Green Line. We'll be right back. Basil Chapman has just announced a live 90-minute webinar he'll be conducting for subscribers to his daily trading newsletter, The Opening Call, which will be taking place Tuesday, November 19th from 5 till 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, titled A Comprehensive Review of the Chapman Wave Techniques and Market Outlook Ahead for 2020. This is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial to The Opening Call while gaining access to Basil's live subscriber event taking place later this month. With some stock picks up 15 to 30% this year alone, Basil will review many of the Chapman Wave techniques that helped in their successful analysis, as well as providing the sectors and stocks that he thinks will be of importance heading into 2020. For all the details, check out the opening call on the front page of TFNN.com. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful powered by highly concentrated folic and hemic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, Dow's up 113. S&P is up uh, 6. And so uh, let's go back to uh, finish off uh, for Alan. Uh, VMC. So, Alan, here's what we determined uh, before we went to that break. You've got topping patterns on the weekly and the monthly. But each of those topping patterns have led to what they were supposed to, which is pushed price down to test a level of support. And so far on the monthly and the weekly, those levels have held. If those levels fail, 
then that says you've got more downside correction. And we can take a look at those task market profiles to determine where they're going to go to. But with regard to your existing position, what you should anticipate over the coming days out here is we can also see that VMC, it loves the TD9 count. It made a TD9 count bottom. It did it on November 6. It was bar number 8. And now what we should see is price get up to test TV's red line. 139.50 uh, or give or take, you know, chop the cents off. You're at 138.12. So I would just simply start top, uh, start, start adjusting your stop here. I would not be looking to add this until you had some additional proof out here. Um, and and for me, the additional proof for you, because Stevie's red line is red, you need to see a close above that. And then even if you do get that, which is fine, that would then say your next upside move is 149. So we know on the weekly and the monthly it's held support. That would suggest to me that on the daily basis, price should get up to test its resistance area, and that's going to be your 139 and change area. So I hope that helps you out with uh, VCC. The last question here coming in from Kay. We've done pretty good. Let me see if we can get to Kay's question. Where is that? Oh, my goodness. Where did it go? There we go. Can we look at Apple? Let's go take a look at Apple real quickly here for Kay. AAPL is the uh, ticker symbol. Uh, AAPL. I'm just gonna. I, I'm not. I don't even have time to read your question, but price is above the daily, weekly, and monthly uh, time frame. Uh, TAS market profiles on a monthly. It's in bar number nine of a TD setup nine count, and price is moving higher, doing less relative energy out there. Says that we could see a top in Apple this month or in December out there. If we look at the weekly time frame chart, K doesn't show us any kind of a top. So that would push more towards probably the December time frame. And uh, to, however, the caveat is if it's going to top, then today is it. Because today is day number 10 of a TD set of nine count. Folks, thanks so much for being here. I look forward to seeing you on Terrific Thursday. Have a great Wednesday.